In the last 12 months, I have profited over six figures with the TikTok Shop affiliate program, and it's all thanks to leveraging ad codes and ad authorization. But the golden question is, what is the difference? And in today's video, I'm going to help you understand the difference. I'm going to show you how to generate ad codes and how to turn on ad authorization. And I'm also going to be breaking down my exact strategy on what I am currently doing when it comes to ad codes and ad authorization. So with that being said, let's get into the video. All right, so let's cut the fluff and BS and dive right into it. Ad codes versus ad authorization. You've probably been hearing terms like GMV Max, Spark Codes, Spark Ads, Mass Ad Authorization. I mean, the list goes on. And this is a complicated topic, but I'm going to simplify it for you because it's very important as a TikTok affiliate to understand this. Now, I've been seeing a lot of information on the internet that is just not super accurate. And as a TikTok affiliate of over 12 months and a TikTok shop seller, so I do both, I have a good understanding of how both sides work and how ad codes work and how ad authorization work. So make sure to stick around to the very end because I'm going to show you guys the difference, how to actually generate these codes and turn them on, and then my exact strategy. So let's jump in my screen and let's first break down the difference between the two because this is very important to understand. And this is complicated, but I have it mapped out for you guys. So just stick around. I promise everything will make sense as we go through the video. So the first thing that we need to understand is what are ad codes and ad authorization and what do they do? So if you give a seller an ad code, or if you give somebody an ad authorization, this allows the seller to promote and boost your video. Or in other words, they pay out of their own pocket to sponsor your video, which is going to get more views, more eyeballs. And if it generates a sell, you are going to get a commission. So it's a fantastic way to leverage the seller's money to grow your affiliate business. But there's a few caveats and there's a few key components to this that you need to understand. So first, ad codes is an individual code per video. So you have, you have to generate this per video, then you send it to the seller. Ad authorization is ads authorized for all videos. But with ad authorization, you click one button and your ads are authorized for all videos. So that's kind of the biggest difference is ad codes is per video. Ad authorization is for all of your videos. Now, a little spoiler alert, I use both. I'm gonna break down how I use both. But the second thing that I wanna to touch on is the shop commission rates. And this is where we're actually going to dive into my phone. And I'm gonna show you guys how to actually generate these codes then also help you understand the shop commission rates because a lot of people don't understand this and they think, oh, the seller is ripping me off and I'm getting less commission. And so this is going to answer the question when it comes to that. But first, I wanna show you how to actually turn on ad authorization. So you're gonna to go to your TikTok shop toolkit, click on your little profile, icon, then you're going to go to privacy settings. And then from there, it's going to take you to this page where you're going to scroll on, scroll down where it says authorized sellers to use affiliate videos in shop ads. If I click this little drop down and I hit learn more, it's going to say, Hey, get extra commission from affiliate videos by authorizing people to use your videos in shop ads. So I do have this turned on and I recommend that you have it turned on and we'll get more into the strategy here in a sec, but that is how to turn on ad authorization. Or in other words, people have called it mass ad authorization, where anybody can run ads on your videos. And if they generate a sell, you're going to get a commission. But the commission can vary, and that's where we're going to get into the shop commissions. But before that, I want to get into how to actually create a Spark ad or an ad code that you can send for an individual video. So we'll come over here to this uh, product right here and I click on the video. From there, you're going to click on these little three dot icons. You're gonna scroll over, you're gonna click add settings and then you're gonna click on add authorization and then you're going to select an available period. And so I'm going to say, okay, the seller can use this ad code for 30 days. I'm gonna hit authorize and I'm gonna hit save. And then from there, I have to scroll down again. I have to hit generate, I have to hit save. And then once it saves, then I'm gonna come over here to manage and then I'm going to hit copy code. Now that I have that code, I can send that to the seller and then they can use it in a Spark ad, a GMV max campaign, whatever it may be. So it is a little tedious process. Spoiler alert as well, I'm gonna show you an easier way to generate these codes without having to click 5 million times. It's been an absolute game changer. And so those are the two different uh, ways to turn on ad authorization and then to actually generate an ad code. Um, and again, there's an easier way to generate these ad codes because it's very tedious and annoying. So that is the two. Now we're going to get into the shop commission rates. And again, this is where a lot of people get really, really confused. 
So we're going to come back to my phone and we're going to go to a product listing. So this is bucked up. Um, uh, it's an energy drink. And if we come right here and swipe up, we're going to see that it says earn $4.41 per sell. But right below it, it says view multiple earning sources. And you can click on this. And from there, there is a standard earning, which the standard commission is 15%. And then there is an additional TikTok bonus for 6%. So if I drive an organic sell, I'm going to make 15% plus this 6% TikTok bonus. So that is if I post it and an organic person watches it and buys the product, that's the commission that I'm going to get. But if you are running a shop ad or you gave somebody a spark code or you guys have ad authorization, there's what's called shop commissions. And the seller can go in and lower your commission rate from, in this case, 15% down, in this case, to 5%. And the lowest they can go is to 1%. So there's a lot of people on TikTok and the internet that are like, oh, sellers are screwing me over. They're ripping me off and they're taking commissions from me. And it's because they're allowed to. They're saying, hey, you can promote our product and you can get X percent. But if we promote the product and we spend our money, we're going to give you instead of 15%, 5%. And there are sellers that are more strict with this and they want to only give you 1%. And there's other sellers that will give you the same amount of percent. And so that is the biggest uh, thing that you guys need to understand is both spark codes and ad authorization. The shop commission rates can be adjusted or in other words, the seller can lower your commission rate, which that's totally fine because if they're willing to spend their money and promote my video, I should get a less percentage because if it wasn't for them spending the money, I wouldn't be making that anyways. So don't complain about the lower commission. And if you don't want them to lower your commission, then don't turn on ad codes and don't turn on ad authorization. Just as simple as that. So now that you guys understand, very important what we just covered, you guys understand the difference between ad codes, you understand how to generate them, how to turn them on, and now you understand shop commission rates. 99% of TikTok affiliates don't understand that. So now that you guys do, let's continue continue on. The third thing that I want to talk about is regardless of whether you share an ad code or ad authorization, you can still get organic commissions. So just like I showed you, the shop commissions do not affect the organic sales. So if I drive an organic sale in that example of the bucked up energy, I'll make 15%. But if it's a shop ad, I will make 5%. Both of them, you still get organic commissions. Now, this is where ad codes and ad authorization become a little bit more different, and that is the expiration. So as you saw when I was generating the ad code, I was able to give them a seven day, 30 day, 60 day, 180 day, basically limit of, hey, this code is valid for X amount. Where ad authorization is if it's turned on, it's authorized. If you turn it off, it's, it's off. And the ad code, once you create and give them 30 days, you can't turn it off. They have access to it for until the 30 days is up. Or if you give them access for 180 days, they have access to that ad code for 180 days. And so this just allows the seller to have a little bit more control with ad codes where they can say, hey, give me X amount of days. And they know that they have this many days to run the ad where ad authorization, you can basically turn it on and off on literally just toggle it off. And it's really simple. So that is another kind of difference to understand. And the next thing that I want to break down is changing the product link. This in the past, this is where ad codes I didn't like because the seller could change the product link where now you have an option where they can't change the product link. And so this is massive for ad codes. So the, when you send an ad code, you can say, hey, don't change this product link where before they could and they could basically swipe your, your commissions 100%. And that was what sellers were doing. But now they fix that. You can actually turn that on or off. Um, I recommend to make it so that they can't change on the product link where ad authorization, they just flat out can't. There's no option. They cannot change the product link. Jumping into the next one, both, and this is where a lot of people get confused, whether you send an individual ad code or give ad authorization, people can run Spark Ads and GMV Max for both. So again, as a seller, if People give me ad authorization, I can go create a Spark ad for an individual video. I can go create a GMV Max and it will basically pull in. For those that don't know what GMV Max is, it's a very hot topic. Everyone's talking about it, GMV Max, and yeah, it is great. And what sellers are doing is GMV Max is basically giving TikTok the ability to take all of the videos 
to have ad authorization on and they basically pull from it and they're like, okay, we want to test these videos and we're going to put some money behind it. And whatever converts, they'll basically put more money behind it. And so they're basically testing thousands of videos and whatever performs best, they basically whittle it down and they're like, okay, this is where we're going to be putting most of our budget. And so the seller might have $10,000 for a GMV max campaign and $2 might be allocated to your account to boost the video or $10 or $100, depending on how it performs. And so ad authorization is great because if you can get picked up in a GMV Max campaign, you might crush it, but it doesn't guarantee that you're going to get the exposure. And so that's what I want to break down very last. And this is the biggest difference between the both. And this is where it comes into my actual strategy. So as an ad code, this is a more proactive approach. So this is you actually acting and taking the initiative ad codes because you have to actually generate it and then you have to send it to the brand where ad authorization is more of a passive approach. This is where you just turn it on and you sit back and you hope, you hope a seller runs a GMV max campaign or you hope a seller sees your video that's performing and then they run a spark ad or a promotional campaign. You hope. And so the biggest difference between the two is one is you're hoping and the other one is you're making it happen. And so my strategy is very simple. I do both. I have ad authorization turned on, but I also generate ad codes and send them to the seller directly. And what I have personally seen is the ad codes get me better results than the ad authorization. Now, ad codes, sending them individually, is a pain. I do have a breakdown of, of showing you how you can actually send it a little bit easier and make this process very, very simple compared to what I just showed you because clicking 10 times and sending ad codes for hundreds of videos is just annoying. Um, there is a better way, but in short, I do both. And I think it's important to do both. And for me, I've seen more success with ad codes because it's the proactive approach and I'm giving the seller the code and I'm giving them and I'm in their face saying, hey, I just made a video. Here's the ad code. Make sure to use it. And then they're more likely to use it. Where if you have ad authorization on, you might have 3,000 other affiliates that have all made two or three videos. So you've got 9,000 videos that yours is going to be basically just swallowed up by and the seller might not even find your video where again sending the ad code you're getting in their face you're saying hey use this it's a good video and they're more likely to see it and they're more likely to use it so that's the difference between the two not very much difference other than ad codes it takes more time to create ad authorization is just a toggle and then from there it's just the proactive approach or the passive approach and again i like to do both so with that being said let's now break down how you guys can generate ad codes way more seamlessly and we'll come over here back into my screen and there is a software called viral view this has been an absolute game changer for me. This is something that I was spending hours and hours every single week. And now you can do it basically automated for you. So they have an ad code feature where you connect your TikTok account and you can generate all the ad codes from one place. So if I want to generate an ad code for this video, I come right here and I hit generate. And just like that, it's going to go in and generate the ad code. I didn't have to click 10 times. And then from there, I can hit copy template and it will copy the ad code and my template. And then I can paste it on uh, to my phone and then I send it to the seller. So what used to take like three to five minutes to send one code, I can now do in a matter of 30 seconds. So again, for those that didn't understand what I just did, I went over it fast. So apologies. I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So ad codes, I'm sending them to the seller because I'm doing the proactive approach. I am taking the initiative and I want them to use the ad codes because when they do, I've seen a lot of success. And just to show you the success, um, this tool will actually also show you what's being used and if the ad code is being used or not. And if we come to what's being used and I filter this out to my most viewed videos, look at this 5.1 million views. It's in use 3.1 million. It's in use. 2.1 million, 1.6, 1.6, 1.2. Out of my most viral videos on my account, nine out of 10 of them are all being used in ad codes. And it's because I sent it to the seller and they're using them in sponsored campaigns. So that just shows the power of it. 
Now, again, it does take time and effort to send the codes, but that's why Viral View helps a ton with that. Um, and again, ad authorization is great. I still do that. I do both. Um, but to come back over here to uh, generate the, the ones, um, I'm going to come to my most recent video. So we'll come over here to this one right here. So these ones don't have ad codes. And so if I want to send this to the seller, I have what's called templates. So I have different templates that I can create for a new reach out if it's expired, a follow up, a second product. And so my new reach out template is very simple. Hey, I just created a video about your product um, and I've already been seeing some decent traction. Here's the link to the video and if you want to use it. So here's the video link, which that's the placeholder. And then here's the ad code. So it's a super easy once I generate uh, the code, I come right here and I hit copy template and then that template I send to the seller. So it's a very simple, seamless process. And again, doing it manually from your phone, like I showed you, it takes a lot. You have to click, 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 click. It's like 20 different clicks where now you just hit generate. You give the duration, then you hit generate. Then you come over here and you hit copy template and then you send it to the seller. So it's super, super easy. And then what's cool is you can see what doesn't have a code. So what products have you missed? So like out of my 1200 shoppable videos, there's 598 that don't have a code. And it's because viral view didn't exist when I started TikTok affiliates. Viral view didn't help me know what code was what and what was being sent and if it had a code generated, where now it does. And then right here, the expired, this is also important. I can see which codes have expired and I can come right here and I can filter this by views. And it's like, look, this, this product has a ton of views and the code expired three days ago. So I need to extend it and I can extend it all from right here and I can create uh, a template for expired code so I can extend it. I'll extend it, uh, extend it by another 30 days and boom, just like this, I'll copy, copy the template and boom, I'll send it to the seller. And then hopefully they start using that new ad code on another Spark ad. And then I can get more views and more sales, um, which is fantastic. So there's a lot of different use cases. I'll put the link to uh, Viral View down below. And then I also have a 10% discount code for you guys for life. Um, Viral View is an absolute game changer. They also have uh, product research tools. They also have a way for you to find products that you have bought on Amazon that are also sold on TikTok. They also have a product tracking feature. So they have other tools when it comes to TikTok, but that's one of my favorites that I use on a daily basis and it saves me hours. So that's a complete A to Z masterclass. I know that was a lot, but it's very important to understand the difference. It's very important to leverage both of them because it's basically free money. It's just getting sellers to spend their own money to promote and boost your videos. And then as a result, you get a commission. Yes, the commission can be a little bit lower than the organic commission, but that's okay because you wouldn't be getting it anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys are new, please subscribe. Please like the video, drop a comment. I appreciate your support. And we'll see you in the next one.